one of the member asked me about single tactics. What kind of tactics uh, should I use? And he told me that he trying to do cross diagonal shots, make opponent to run deeper. And also he told me he hit a straight clear and then straight drop shot. And then another clear and then same side drop shot. And he's having that about three, four ideas how to hit, where to hit it. And he told me after the match, he told me, Lee, I don't know what I did. I cannot remember what I did. I just lost. And I don't know how I lost. To me, it's obvious uh, he will lose. It's obvious he will not know why he lost. Tactic, very difficult uh, subject, not easy. I've been thinking a lot about the tactics. Some people say, yes, he has got very strong smash, so I must not lift. He has got very tricky net shot, so I should not hit the net. I should hit the backwards. And some other players say, he's not fit, so I make long rallies, high lift, tight net, I'm making him run deep corners, tire him out. I disagree with that. Okay, this is my statement about singles tactics. The best singles tactic is be able to select the right shot at each moment. Okay, this is my statement about singles tactics. The best singles tactic is be able to select the right shot at each moment. For example, he has got very strong smash. I've been told a lot to lift. Then I have a constraint. There is time I have to lift because I was left late. If I can't lift, my choices are limited. He's far away. I've been told not to do the net shot because his net shot is tricky. But this is the right time for the net shot. Look. This member, my friend, are trying to do cross drop shots to make him run long. Watch this. Okay, ready, Will. You and I are playing. You've been told and you are trying to do cross shots to make me run deeper. Okay, do cross drop shot, please. From there to there and return my shot. Cross drop shot. His cross, Will's cross drop shot at this moment uh, was wrong because I was ready for it. But this time, his cross drop shot is right. Ready? Cross drop shot. Same. Same cross drop shot. He got the point. He lost the point. Same cross drop shot. My friends who tried to do the cross cross, he disregarded the very important things to see if cross drop shot at this moment is the right shot or not. Same, cross drop shot. 
Yeah. He can't. Let's say you believe the cross drop shot is right. So at the beginning, you did the cross drop shot, you won the point. And you did the cross drop shot, you won the point. What will happen to your opponent? He will ready for your cross drop shot. And you have to feel he aware of that. Then after two point, instead of doing cross drop shot, you have to do the straight drop shot. So what I'm saying is same shot, A case, perfect shot, B case, the same shot is the worst shot. The best tactic is you aware opponent base, opponent intention, opponent movement. You have to aware that and you have to feel what situation you are in. And this moment, which shot is the best shot? And you should be able to select that shot. If you do that, after the match, you know why you lost. Your selection was wrong. Ah, next time, I have to study more. I have to aware more about my opponent. Somehow, when I play him, my option was very limited because his clear is deceptive, his drop shot is deceptive. So next time I have to get my posture lower, I have to wait a bit longer. So he will know reasons for why he lost, therefore what he has to prepare for the next time. It is so dangerous. Cross shot is good. After straight clear, straight drop shot is good. Opponent have a strong smash, don't lift. Such kind of a statement, such kind of a tactical idea is very dangerous. And I would like to say that is wrong. 